So it's going to be simple today. I want to know in 2024 who's going to win, Joe, Don, or some mystery candidate. And that's what the video will be about. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Well, it couldn't be simpler. It's on everybody's mind. Who's going to win? Who's going to actually win in 2024? Is it going to be Joe Biden? Will he even survive? I mean, because he doesn't look like he's in that great of health on occasion. Will it be Donnie? I mean, also not looking so good. And with all of these pending indictments, not to mention the indictment that has already come down. Remember, that indictment means he's been arrested. Or is it going to be some mystery candidate that we don't know who it's going to be and who's going to come in at the last minute because Trump won't be running, Biden won't be running, and maybe we'll have a clean slate and get back to some kind of normal politics? What's it going to be? Well, we're going to look at it and find out. Here we go. So this is going to be simple today. I'm just going to ask, who's going to win in 2024? Is it going to be Joe? Is it going to be Don? Or is it going to be somebody that we don't know? Joe, Donnie, or we don't know. So let's see what the cards tell us. I love this uh, Grand Lux Tarot. Uh, they're pretty rich. They show up really nicely on camera for you guys. And um, hopefully they'll give us some good reading here. So it's, it's simple. Um, I think what we'll do is uh, a three card draw on each of those three questions, Joe, Don, or the mystery candidate. And um, and then we'll do a six card uh, dyadic cross uh, to just see what the cards can tell us about that election in 2024. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw on Joe, but before we do that, we're gonna have just a moment, you know, a meditation. Okay. Yeah. So Joe Biden, is he the guy? Well, here's my thing with Joe Biden. It seems like he's looking frail at times and other times he looks like, okay. In in general, he looks like someone who's in good health for the age that he is to me. But I mean, people drop off the face of the earth uh, unexpectedly when you're around that age. That's true. But let's have, and I've got a little bit of a, a head cold here, so I hope this uh, doesn't sound nasally on the camera. If it does, I'm sorry. But uh, Joe Biden, so three cards, Joe Biden, are you the one who's going to win in 2024? Three cards. One, two, three. Joe, are you going to win in 2024? And I got four cards. Now that's interesting. So we'll play them all out. First card. Is it going to be Joe? Well, we've got a nightmare. This is the Nine of Swords, Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. The Nine of Swords is a nightmare. And you can kind of see this face in the background. It actually looks like a scary Joe Biden face. And we've got a, a woman here who's looking up at that face and is just kind of um, dumbstruck by it. And so these, all you see all the swords hanging up here. You see all the melted uh, candles. And so Joe Biden, are you going to win in 2024? And it shows an almost a death mask. First card. Joe, will it be you? Okay, the second card up then, another nine. So this is the nine of coins. Coins are value. Sometimes their money has to be value in this case. And we've got kind of a joker here. This is kind of the person in the royal suite. Oh, it's not a joker because the nine of coins is a very privileged person. So this is the person who's wearing their wealth on their head. I think this is the candidate who's going to uh, win. A privileged uh, person, probably a woman. Interesting. Interesting. So first card up 
It's kind of a death mask of Joe. The second card up is a privileged person, probably a woman. Joe, are you going to win in 2024? The third card up, look at that, is the devil card. Being tied to lesser intention. Again, we've got that same death, death mask as in this first card. It is exactly the same face. As a matter of fact, the artist has reused that face. That's interesting. This female could possibly be interpreted as this privileged woman here under the shadow of Joe's death mask. Is this Pamela or Cam Pamela? Is this Kamala Harris? And then the third card is being tied to lesser intention. Not sure exactly how this uh, plays in here. Unless to say, not necessarily tied to lesser intention, but someone who was tied to that death mask. So could this be uh, Kamala? And then the last card, Joe, are you going to win in 2024? And the last card of truth, justice, rules, and law, a great big ace of swords. We see the United States represented in this eagle's face. I think there's going to be a candidate who wins in 2024 who's going to represent the best of what America is. And I don't think it's going to be Joe Biden. So we'll look at it again quickly. I asked, is Joe going to win in 2024? And the first, first thing we get is a nightmare, the nine of swords, truth, justice, rules of law. And it almost shows a death mask of someone kind of looking a bit like Joe with someone under his shadow, kind of terrified. The next card up, is it going to be Joe in 2024? No, we get a privileged woman. Privileged woman, Kamala Harris would count for that. Third card, uh, we get the devil card, someone who is tied to that death mask could still indicates Kamala for me. And then the final card is that the candidate who's going to win is going to be the true representative of the American spirit. So, so far, this says not Joe, maybe Kamala. Donald Trump. Is Donald Trump going to be the one who wins in 2024? And it seems like the cards have already answered the question for us, but uh, we'll go through each of those three choices. First one is Joe, then uh, Donald Trump, and now this last one uh, after this will be a mystery candidate. So is it going to be Donald Trump who wins in 2024? Is it going to be Donald Trump who wins in 2024? Let's see what the cards can tell us in three cards. One, two, and three. Is it going to be Trump? Who wins in 2024 first draw kind of indicated it wouldn't be Joe it might be someone else is it gonna be Donald Trump okay we've got a three of cups we've got circles of celebration cups are emotional heartfelt situations and these are typically three women celebrating here so is it gonna be Donald Trump this doesn't say Donald Trump next card is another emotional cup this is the king of cups this is the king of of emotions here. Next card is going to be Donald Trump and we got the page of cups. Three cards of emotion. The page is just a message of, of, of compassion that's coming to the uh, court with their idea. So is it going to be Donald Trump? Really none of these indicate to me Donald Trump. This king of cups, you cannot by any stretch of the imagination say that Trump is the king of compassion or a heartfelt situation except that his, his own uh, uh, pity for himself. Uh, circle celebration around women and then a message of, uh, of compassion here. I don't think it's going to be Donald Trump, but I'm not sure exactly what these three cards represent other than to say that the, the uh, offering to us for our 2024 uh, candidate, our winner, will be a compassionate uh, person. Okay. If I had to say this was Joe, uh, I would say that, but not as a winner, but as the inspiration for the winner. last three cards before we do the six card dyadic uh, cross is we're going to say is there a mystery candidate who's going to win is it going to be a mystery candidate in other words not Kamala not someone that we're really necessarily thinking about will there be a mystery candidate who uh, wins in 2024 will there be a mystery candidate could be either Democrat or Republican who wins in 2024 three cards one two and three, mystery candidate in 2024. 
Let's see what the cards can tell us. Okay, first card up is the Lover's card. So this is a major arcana. This is a, a, a pact. This is a heartfelt, uh, cherished uh, union. And that's what we get as the first uh, card for as to will it, will it be a mystery candidate. Next we get here is a five, six, seven of swords, which is a um, theft and betrayal. Swords are truth, justice, rules, and law. And the next card after this uh, uh, perfect pairing is theft and betrayal. Will it be a mystery candidate? And the last card again comes that page of compassion. Just a, a hint. Okay, this is a a slightly stronger. Um, indication that there's some validity to the question that I've asked. In the second draw, no, it didn't indicate Donald Trump at all. But in this one, it represents that the candidate who wins, if it's a mystery candidate, could be someone who is a perfect pairing. Okay, in the the center of that campaign will be the focus on the uh, theft and betrayal that I think that we've been through, and then the final uh, outcome is a weak kind of offer of compassion. If there were a mystery candidate, it would be a candidate that represents these three things. If there were a mystery candidate who even gets close, it'd be someone who rec represents a perfect pairing, who is fighting against that theft and betrayal that we've uh, seen uh, happen so far, and uh, but it will be a weak offering of compassion. So even though there may be a mystery candidate in the end, I don't know that that's the one who's going to win. So now we're going to ask six cards about this campaign, this the winner in the presidential campaign in 2024. And some of the things that I might want to know is, you know, is it going to be someone that we know now, someone who's kind of on the table now uh, that we might think would win? Is it going to be a surprise a person who wins uh, the campaign in 2024? Uh, is it going to be a shock that it is uh, Donald Trump or is it a shock that it will be Joe Biden? Uh, what can the cards tell us in six cards? If we need more, we'll take four more, but I think six cards will probably do it. Is it gonna, what can the cards tell us about the 2024 presidential campaign winner? Six cards, okay? One, two, three, four, five, and right here, number six. What can the cards tell us about the winner of that 2024 presidential campaign. Signifier card. Look at this. This is wands. This is an ace of wands. This is action. Okay. This is action with a vengeance. Look at the dragon in this card here, engulfed in the fire of the heat of the moment. A wand sprouting with lots of new ideas. The winner in 2024 is going to represent action. That's the signifier. But well, what's the challenge to that? The challenge to that is this nine of wands. The nine of wands is really being embattled, having dealt with a lot of issues, okay, but still coming through with some fight. They've got some value and they've got a plan. So this will be a hard fought battle for whoever it is that does win. The basis of this, the winner of 2024, Oh, this is interesting because cups are emotion, compassion, but the four of cups is kind of being offered something that you don't necessarily want. You know, this still rings a little true to me uh, as Kamala because it wouldn't necessarily be the case that she would want to win that campaign because Joe couldn't uh, finish the campaign for whatever reason. So the basis of this uh, for the 2024 campaign winner is a heartfelt offer of something that wasn't necessarily the way they wanted to get it. In the past of this reading is look at this, this King of Swords, the King of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. We've got the American Eagle represented proudly in front of this King, but this is in the past. I think this is Joe Biden who's not going to make it to the end in 2024 for some reason, and I wonder if it's health. In the sky of this right here is the Hermit. Okay, so this is the best that you could hope for. Major Arcana, almost smack dab in the middle of the journey that the fool has, but the hermit is the one who's determinedly looking for a path 
forward before they make that step. And this is what's in the sky. So this is the best that we can hope for of whoever this candidate is, is that they have the wherewithal, they have the, um, the strength to understand when to take those steps forward. And then the final outcome for that 2024 presidential campaign winner is look at this. This is celebratory. This is the nine of cups. This is uh, sometimes called the greedy merchant. This is the, the person who's on public display, who's proud to show their trophies, who's celebrating their win. And um, I think we're going to have a compassionate winner in 2024 that's gonna help bring this country back together. That's what these cards tell me. Just to read them again quickly, who's going to be the winner in 2024? What can we know about this person or that campaign? Well, what we know is that that winner is going to represent a great big action hard fought for. It's challenged by the battle that preceded. It's underscored by not necessarily wanting to have been the one to take on this compassionate uh, battle, but still having to do so. In the past, we had this night of truth, justice, rules, and law represented by that American Eagle. And I'm sorry, my bias is showing here, but that's Joe Biden. In the sky of this is the hermit, almost leading this person on, almost taking this person forward, showing them the light to the path of how to get there. And then the final outcome is a celebration of wanting to show, look, here's everything. Here are all my trophies. I'm so happy that we're starting off on this new journey. And this is the, um, the likely outcome. So I think we're going to have a happy, bring us back together uh, winner in 2024. I don't think it's going to be Joe. I think it could be Kamala. And I don't think it's going to be Trump. So that's what I got. Hope you like the reading. Those are the cards. Whether you agree with them or not, that's what we got. So tell me what you think. Put some comments down below. Let me know what you want me to read about, because you know I'll read about that. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Oh, see, so this is a Grand, or Tarot Grand Lux. Tarot Grand Lux, another Cairo Marchetti uh, deck. This guy is just a machine putting out these cards, but they come in a great box, and uh, they've got a really useful uh, guidebook as far as the divination is concerned. It's easy to read, and it's, you know, handheld, and, you know, it's just another of uh, Cairo Marchetti's version of uh, tarot cards, which all seem to be pretty cool. Um, they're easy to use, and they've got a nice kind of a matte finish that doesn't slide out of your hands too easily. And uh, so I do this so you get a chance to look at the cards and see how they are. Maybe you don't uh, buy a lot of cards or look at a lot of different cards, but if you watch my channel, you do. <laughs> so there we go. Good way to get uh, your energy all over the, all over them. And, um, and so I don't know, I think that kind of makes for a better uh, read uh, when everything's all said and done. So here we go. These uh, Tarot Grand Lux. It's some funny thing that I always want to say Grand Lux Tarot. And um, I bet everybody does that. But anyway, we'll use these and get this going. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again. So, ciao for now.